Right, well with this, I didn't want to go into the ground. I don't know why, but it would have been nicer to go up and over. Up and under even. But we've got to put a continue wire in here. So this is what we've got. Comes in 10 meters. So, oh, we haven't got a choice, but 10 meters. Is that nice? Don't know. Screwdriver. So let's get this all out. That. So we want to hook one end and that the other. Right, bend them round and should go on nicely like that. Well, let's get rid of this a bit so we can take the slack out with this, is the plan. So we're opening this up a little bit. Because it won't turn. Oh, well, that's the wrong way. Left-handed thread on one, and then right-handed thread on the other. Yeah, makes makes sense. So we've got to open this up. So then we can pull the slack out. Firstly, we want to fix these two up, which I'm going to get some decent screws. Two, three, four. I'm going to put it on the edge of this, basically. Nice and tight up there, that'll be the, the edge of the box, the, what do you call it, the office, whatever it is. to be able to pull it tight. Right. There we go. That looks nice. Sugar. But that is on there. So that's gonna be one end. Now I'm gonna need the other end over here. which will be spot on just there, I reckon. So that'll take the slack off this cable. That one, that one, that one, and that one. So, four holes in there. And this brick is a bit of a bitch, because it's bloody hard. So we need the big drill. Surprising this brick don't crumble. The state of it. Well, we got it. And then now, we want some red plugs, but I'm not going to use them screws because they're just going to be too small. We're going to use these to go in there to give it a good fixing. And luckily, that anchor bit will cover the mess up which I've made with smashing the brick to bits uh, to be honest with you they're not even straight just want it to 
anchor to the side there. Not a fan of these continuing wires over the top. They look pants, but there is a need for them every now and again. I would rather dig the pathway up. It would just look better in the long run. Right. There we go, that's just enough to support the cable because the whole point of this continuary wire is to support the cable rather than the cable supporting itself. Oh. Right, and then to get this a nice hook round, but we want it to be hooked round on there. So, is that going to go on there a bit? Ah, oh, it's not. Need to bend it out a bit to get it round. Sugar. Fucking fell out. Bend it open a bit. I can get it over that hook. He says, that's not open enough. Of course it's not. Yes, let's just nip it up a bit. Does it come off? Might be a good idea to straighten her up. There we go. And then now, we're gonna go round and just get that to go around there neat. All I want to do, it would have been a bad idea to thread these three first, wouldn't it? So, undo these a little bit. Don't fray the end, so it'll be pants. Undo these a bit more. There we go. That one's on there. That on there. And then thread them back on themselves. Great, that one's fell down there. But I just want to get this one on nice. So if we can get this one on here, like so. And here's my little Timu socket set. Right, and then get this is the tension of it. So this is the bit that's gonna tension it up. Get this. Go over here once again. And this can go around here. So once again, I forgot to put these little bits on. Right, so then now... <coughs> this can go on to here. Like so, 
pull the tension in. We'll give it a bit more tension with that bit. But for now, I just want to get it in line. Put that in there. That should be fine. That is clamped on there. And then this, give it a bit extra. Don't need slack on it, let's do it up. There we go. And then now we want is to do this up, look. Like this. Because then it can pull this tension, uh, pull the slack out of it. So then it's a nice wire rather than just a slack washing on. Look at that. It doesn't want to be fantastically tight, just enough to hold that cable where the tension is on the wire. If you do it too tight, it'll probably pull the wood off or pull that off. But that will be perfect. But then, because this wire is bleeding tough, I've got to cut it with this. My cutters will not cut it. There we go, beautiful. There's another one, this comes in handy. Couple of cable ties on it, a couple, about six or seven. Just to make it look nice and straight so it isn't hanging as well. Doesn't matter if it does the job, it's gotta look like it does the job. And there we go, looks perfectly straight now and it takes the slack out of that cable.